情不知所起，一往而深。There are some romantic stories we hardly imagined can happen. Well, the romantic story between the Emperor Xianzhong and his Imperial Noble Consort Wan was definitely one of them. The Imperial Noble Consort Wan, Wan Guifei. Originally was called Wan Zhenrer. She was born in 1430, and was the same age as her husband's biological mother, the Empress Xiao Su. Wan Zhenrer came into the Yanlong court when she was four years old, as the maid of the Empress Xiao Gongzhang. Wan Zhenrer was smart, worked hard. And warm-hearted, so she was liked by the Empress Xiao Gongzhang. In 1449, Xianzhong's father, the Emperor Yingzhong, was arrested by Wa La in Tu Mu Bao Zhibian. Yingzhong's brother was promoted to the new emperor, and Xianzhong was promoted to the crown prince. At that time, Xianzhong was only two years old. His grandma, the Empress Xiao Gongzhang, sent Wan Zhenrer to take care of Xianzhong. Wan Zhenrer was nineteen, seventeen years older than Xianzhong. In 1450, Xianzhong's father came back from Wa La, and was put under the home arrest. In 1452, when Xianzhong was five years old, he was demoted from the Crown Prince to Prince Yi. Because he was only a demoted prince, no one really cared about him. During this hopeless time, Wan Zhenrer was the only person who truly took care of him. Wan Zhenrer was Xianzhong's light in the dark, dark sky. In 1457, miracle happened. Xianzhong's father successfully deposed the Emperor Jing Tai in Duomen Zhibian and became the emperor again. In the same year, Xianzhong was promoted to the crown prince again and changed his name. From Zhu Jianshen to Zhu Jianru, because of the long time high pressure, Xianzhong became a starter. In 1464, Xianzhong became the emperor and wanted to be married with Wan Zhenrer as the empress. Two empress daughters strongly disagree. Finally. Xianzhong had to choose Wu Shi as the empress, and promoted Wan Zhenrer as the noble consort. Xianzhong deposed the empress Wu one month after they married, because the empress Wu conflicted with Wan Zhenrer and ordered her to be raped. Wang Shi became the second empress, but. She didn't dare to conflict with Wan Zhenrer. Xianzhong still tried to replace her by Wan Zhenrer, but didn't succeed. In 1466, Wan Zhenrer gave birth a son at 37. This prince was Xianzhong's first son. Xianzhong was so happy, so he promoted Wan Zhenrer as. Huang Guifei, the imperial noble consort, which was the first Huang Guifei in ancient Chinese history. Unfortunately, several months later, the little prince passed away. In 1487, Wan Zhenrer suddenly passed away at 57. Xianzhong was deeply sad. He lost the most important part of his life. Several months later, the Emperor Xianzhong passed away. In Ming Dynasty, 
Only the empress and the biological mother of the new emperor could be buried with the late emperor. So Wan Zheng Er didn't bury with Xian Zhong. Xian Zhong was buried in Maolin with his three emperors. The empress Xiao Zhen Chun was the emperor's wife. The empress Xiao Mu was the biological mother of the emperor Xiao Zhong. The empress Xiao Hui was the grandmother of the emperor. Shi Zhong. Wan Zheng Er's reputation was not so bad until Ming Shi was written. Ming Shi was finished in Qing Dynasty. Wang Guifei's part was written by Mao Qilin. Instead of using the official history records, he used some story books as references to record Wang Guifei. Because this part was so inaccurate, the Emperor Qianlong wrote an article called the "Bo Ming Xian Zhong Huai Yun Zhu Fei Jie Zhao Wan Fei Bi Pe Er Duo Tai" to analyze and argue the records about Wan Zheng Er was not credible. Thank you for watching this video. Next week. Let's see the stories of the Empress Daughter.